Hey guys, take a look at these new Lime bikes that I'm riding. These were just released last week. They are dockless. They are completely electric, but some people are saying that the price is concerning them. As you can see here, these bikes are pretty nice. They're called Lime for a reason. They're super bright, but I just want to show you how this all works. Let me take you through the process. So as you can see on my phone, I've downloaded the app Lime. So if I open this up, so you can see um, I have a little pinpoint right here. Normally what would happen, it's not happening right now because I currently have this bike unlocked, but normally what would happen is you'll see um, a bunch of green pinpoints letting you know uh, where these bikes are in the city. Like I said, they are dockless, but Anyways, I want to talk to you about the price because the price is concerning a lot of people. So it is $1 to unlock one of these bikes and then it is an additional 30 cents per minute. So that adds up to $19 per hour. And I was just curious, so I decided to go online and see what a car to go would cost. Well, a car to go is $15 per hour. So that is $4 less than one of these bikes right here. So I took to the streets and I wanted to find out what people thought about these brand new bikes i think like they're pretty cool i like the color um they're pretty convenient like for people that can't own like their own bike and don't have storage it's pretty convenient to actually be able to grab well like a dockless bike i think that's crazy i think that's absolutely crazy you could get an uber you could get all sorts of stuff for that and plus you're protected from um the weather if you go with uber or a car to go or even transit like a bike 19 dollars an hour i don't think so <laughs> i think that would be perfectly acceptable as a price Well, it's going to be interesting to see how these bikes do during the winter months. You know, will they be surviving those Calgary storms? I guess we'll have to see. Reporting live in Calgary, Brittany Rosen, City News.